Scientists from the University of California, Riverside have introduced a groundbreaking method for detecting extraterrestrial life. Instead of searching for Earth-like planets with oxygen-rich atmospheres, they propose focusing on unusual gases called methyl halides in entirely different planetary environments. This shift in strategy could redefine our approach to finding alien life and significantly improve detection capabilities using existing technology. In this video, we will explore what methyl halides are, why they are promising biosignatures, and how Heisen planets provide ideal conditions for their detection. We'll also examine the role of the James Webb Space Telescope in this exciting search and what the future holds for astrobiology. Methyl halides are relatively simple molecules consisting of a methyl group. One carbon atom bonded to three hydrogen atoms attached to a halogen atom like chlorine, bromine, or iodine. On Earth, these compounds are primarily produced by bacteria, marine algae, fungi, and certain plants, making them strong candidates as biosignatures, chemical indicators of life. While some non-biological processes like volcanoes and forest fires produce traces of methyl halides, the vast majority come from living organisms. Marine algae and certain soil bacteria release these gases as metabolic byproducts. Their biological origin makes them promising indicators of life beyond Earth, particularly in planetary atmospheres where they could accumulate to detectable levels. On Earth, the presence of oxygen rapidly breaks down methyl halides. However, in hydrogen-rich atmospheres, they could persist in much higher concentrations, making detection far more feasible. This key factor underpins the UC Riverside team's hypothesis. Focusing on environments where these gases can accumulate significantly increases our chances of identifying alien life. From a detection standpoint, methyl halides have an advantage due to their distinct absorption patterns in infrared light. The James Webb Space Telescope can analyze the starlight passing through a planet's atmosphere and detect specific gases based on their spectral fingerprints. Unlike traditional biosignatures like oxygen, which are challenging to detect with current technology, methyl halides stand out clearly in the infrared spectrum, making them a prime target for observation. According to lead researcher Michaela Lung, methyl halides could be identified in as little as 13 hours of Webb's observation, a significantly shorter time compared to other biosignatures. Given the intense competition for telescope time, this efficiency means more planets can be surveyed, improving our chances of making a groundbreaking discovery. The researchers also compared how methyl halides behave in different planetary atmospheres, alongside traditional biosignatures like oxygen and methane. While oxygen is challenging to detect due to observational noise and telescope limitations, methyl halides offer a viable alternative for identifying life with existing instruments, particularly in hydrogen-rich atmospheres. Instead of searching for Earth-like planets, researchers suggest targeting a category of exoplanets called Hycean planets, a term that combines hydrogen and ocean. These planets have deep global oceans and thick hydrogen-dominated atmospheres. Most of them orbit small red dwarf stars, which are the most common type of star in the galaxy. Hycean planets have only recently gained attention as potential candidates for life. Traditionally, Astronomers have focused on the Goldilocks zone, the region around a star where liquid water could exist on the surface. However, Hycan planets challenge this notion. They are larger than Earth, but smaller than Neptune, and sustain liquid oceans beneath thick hydrogen-rich atmospheres. While humans couldn't survive in these environments, certain microbes could thrive there. What makes Hycian planets particularly valuable is their detectability with current technology. Unlike Earth-like planets, which are small and dim compared to their host stars, these planets provide clearer atmospheric signals due to their larger size and closer orbits. As co-author Eddie Schwederman explains, unlike an Earth-like planet, 
where atmospheric noise and telescope limitations make it difficult to detect biosignatures, Hycian planets offer a much clearer signal. Anaerobic life, microbes that do not rely on oxygen, could be a strong candidate for thriving in these worlds. Schwederman notes, these microbes, if we found them, would be adapted to an entirely different environment, but the production of these gases would still be a plausible metabolic output. Another key factor is that Haussian worlds allow for the accumulation of methyl halides at much higher concentrations than in oxygen-rich atmospheres. The researchers' models suggest that even modest biological production of these gases could result in detectable levels, reinforcing the case for focusing on Hycian planets in the search for alien life. These planets are likely widespread throughout the galaxy. Red dwarf stars make up about 75% of the Milky Way's stars, and many of them host planets of suitable size and distance to be potential Hesian worlds. This significantly expands our pool of potential life-harboring exoplanets. The James Webb Space Telescope is the most powerful tool for studying exoplanet atmospheres. Launched in December 2021, Webb was designed to observe in the infrared spectrum precisely where methyl halides have their strongest absorption features. Using transit spectroscopy, Webb can analyze the light filtering through a planet's atmosphere as it passes in front of its star, identifying the gases present. This method is highly efficient. The UC Riverside researchers estimate that methyl halides could be detected in as little as 13 hours of observation, making it one of the most practical biosignatures to search for with existing technology. This efficiency allows for a larger number of planets to be examined, increasing the probability of detecting alien life. This research builds upon previous biosignature studies. Other promising candidates include dimethyl sulfide, produced by marine phytoplankton, and phosphine, which was detected in Venus's atmosphere. Additionally, methane detection on Mars remains an intriguing subject, as periodic spikes could indicate biological activity. These discoveries underscore the importance of exploring alternative biosignatures beyond traditional markers like oxygen. Looking to the future, upcoming missions like the European Large Interferometer for Exoplanets, LIFE, could revolutionize biosignature detection. LIFE, expected to launch in the 2040s, would use nulling interferometry to directly observe exoplanets while blocking out their host star's light, significantly enhancing biosignature detection capabilities. If multiple exoplanets exhibit signs of methyl halides, it would suggest that microbial life might be widespread across the universe. As lead researcher Michaela Leung explains, Finding a pattern of methyl halide detections would be a strong indicator that life is not a rare accident but a common outcome of planetary evolution. Thank you for joining this exploration of methyl halides and the search for alien life. If you found this fascinating, stay tuned for more insights into space, science, and our quest to understand the universe. Until next time, Keep looking up and wondering what or who might be looking back. Mm -hmm.